Dear viewer out there, we are here at uh, Uganda Matters uh, Shrine Munyonyo and we have a very great event as we mark the celebrations of Uganda Matters Day 2022 animated by Fort Porto Diocese. Right now here behind we have a team of pilgrims who have joined the rest of the Christians who are also you know, tracking, moving, wherever they are coming from, from their dioceses, from their parishes, from other organizations, church-related organizations, who are all coming to Namugongo for the celebrations of the Uganda Matters Day. But here today, on 28th, we are having the celebrations in a very specific way. We have two events taking place today. We have the Matters Run and the usual uh, walk of faith. Now we are here at Munyonyo Shrine to flag off the team of these two pilgrims. Those who will be running and those who will be walking. The walking will be from uh, Munyonyo Shrine. Uh, we'll have a stopover in St. Denis Sebuguao Shrine. We'll go to Ponciano, St. Ponciano Shrine, and there, that is Chamula. And then we will move to Old Kampala. But before we reach Old Kampala, we we'll also have a stopover in Mengo Kisenyi. And then we will move to Old Kampala, that is St. Matia Mulumba uh, Church. There we will be having the concluding uh, celebration with the Eucharistic, led by our host bishop, that is Right Reverend uh, Robert Muhirwa. Now, the run will be within Munyonyo Shrine Parish. There's the five kilometer run and 10 kilometer run. For them, they will be around and they will converge back here as they conclude their run. For us who are walking, we will walk from here and we will conclude our walk in Old Kampala. We want to encourage those who are not walking, but spiritually, walk in your own way because we will like the matters of Uganda to bless us. And that's why we are here. You can present your novena. This is the period for the novena. Please join also in the novena. There are other activities that are going on. Sacrament of reconciliation is key. We encourage all Catholics who communicate, who receive the Holy, Eucharist, who, uh, Holy Communion. Please go for the sacrament of reconciliation during this period that has been allocated. I want to thank you so much for taking your time to always watch UCTV, our TV. Thank you. A short prayer at the beginning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. You will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. God Almighty Father, as we are gathering here in your name, we ask you that you will bless us that you will give us the strength, that we may run, and that we may walk, that we may safely reach our destination. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, I would like to welcome you at Munyonyo Martyr Shrine, the place of the starting journey of Uganda Martyrs. It was from here when the martyrs were sentenced for death exactly on 25th and 26th May, 136 years ago, in the palace of King Mwanga. He took a decision to kill Christian subjects. Some of them, they have died here at Munyonyo, like Andrew Kagwa. He was martyred just behind me, like St. Denis Sebugwawo. Others, they have died on the way. As we are going on Salama Road, we are going to reach a place of St. Ponciano Gondwe. Later, St. Athanasius. Later, Matia Mulumba. And then they have reached Namugongo. They were tortured and they have sacrificed their life on 3rd June. So dear brothers and sisters, today we want to have a run in the footsteps of the martyrs. We want to walk in the footsteps of martyrs. We know very well there are many people coming to Namugongo from all over the country. And also us here, we want to have a pilgrimage. I would like to encourage you to have a prayer intention, not only to run, not only to walk, 
but to pray for a certain thing so that through the intercession of Uganda martyrs we may also achieve blessings. I was asked to say a few words about the first martyr in our stopover, the one which is behind me, St. Andrew Kagwa. He was not among the group which went to Namugongo. He was already at Chigoa. But he was very successful in evangelization. When missionaries left, he was the chief catechist. His hope beca became like a church. He was preparing, encouraging. He was preparing Christians for future baptism. And when the missionaries came back to Uganda from Tanganyika, the Christians were five times more. So he was very successful. When the group of St. Charles Wanga and both Catholic and Anglican future martyrs went to Namugongo, Kagwa was called to this very place. And the advisors to the king told him, if you will not kill him, you will see Christianity will be still spreading. That's why first they have brought him here, they have chopped his arm and they have brought it to the king on a plate. King ordered to finish him. The story says that later his remains were buried down at the tomb of St. Andrew Kagwa. And he's a patron of teachers and catechists. So this is our first stop over and we are praying through the intercession in this place of Andrew Kagwa. We are going to have a flagging off for run of five kilometers, 10 kilometers, and then finally also a walk of faith from here, from Munyonyo, when the journey started, to old Kampala, when his life gave St. Matia Mulumba. I would like to welcome the chief runners and uh, the chief walkers. First of all, I would like to welcome representative from the government, Honorable Tom Butime, Minister for Tourism. Welcome, Honorable. We are very happy that you are with us. I would like to welcome the chief runner of today, Assistant Commissioner of Police, Afande Anatoly Muleterwa. Afande, thank you very much for being a chief runner today. And finally, I would like to welcome, I may say a host, even though he doesn't stay in Munyonyo, but he's a host of the event of today. I would like to welcome Bishop of Fort Portal Diocese, Right Reverend Robert Muhirwa. Thank you very much, Bishop, for being with us. And thank you also for being a chief worker today. At this time, I would like to invite Honorable Minister to address you with a few words. Thank you, Father and Paris priest of this very, very beautiful place. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, my Lord Bishop, um, my sister, member of parliament, for Kamwenge District. Um, Reverend fathers and sisters, Father Oyo, the man with a huge responsibility of coordinating all the activities of the 3rd of June. I welcome all of you to today's very, very important function the walk of faith from Munyonyo to Old Kampala, Kampala Mukadde. Others are going to run, others are going to walk. Some of us will walk, not run, but we shall all get there at our different times. I thank you for coming. I thank all those who were here very early in the morning to attend Mass. I was here and I attended Mass. So, I, I am humbled to be here this morning at the place where St. Kagwa was martyred. We shall all humbly walk to Matia Mulumba's place where he himself 
I think was matters. I told Kampala. This is a very important 2022 uh, celebration. It's so important because for the last two years, we were not able to celebrate with all those who would have wanted, who had wanted to come to Namugongo. This year, we have an opportunity, all of us to congregate, to make a pilgrimage to Namugongo. We shall all be there. And I want to encourage you, to encourage all my brothers and sisters to come to Namugongo so that we celebrate together. I can assure you of the preparation is done so far and there is no doubt that this is going to be a great, fantastic success. Thank you for coming. I wish you a wonderful, successful, peaceful and secure, isn't it? Walk of faith. Munyonyo Old Kampala. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister. I would like to also appreciate the uh, coming of the team from Fort Portal Diocese, represented by Head of Laity, Mr. Charles Kalibanza. Thank you very much for being with us here. Thank you for all the team from Fort Portal Diocese. I would like to invite uh, Right Reverend Bishop Robert Muhiriwa to address us with a few words. Thank you, Father, uh, Honorable Tombutime Atenyi, and all of you in your respective capacities. I take this honor on behalf of the Uganda Episcopal Conference to welcome you to Munyonyo, this special place, as the parish priest has explained to us, and the purpose for which also Honorable Minister has explained to us is a walk of faith. So we're not just walking or just running, but we're running for a purpose of celebrating the matters of Uganda's death for the sake of their faith in the Lord Jesus. So we too, as we run, as we walk, we are walking in that spirit. Let us have specific intentions for doing so for our own personal lives as Christians, for the good of our families. Saint Andrew Kagwa was rooted in the word of God, which he shared with many other people, and he was successful, as we had the parish priest mention. When the missionaries had run to Tanzania or Tanganyika, he continued the work the number of catechumens increased because they were hearing the word of God. Let the same word of God inspire us in our own lives so that we can be new beings, we can be changed. As we walk, as we run, let us also be mindful of the challenges we have in this country to pray for our country, to pray for everyone, especially those who are being misled into all kinds of activities, all kinds of immoral conduct, that all of us may be transformed through the session of the Uganda Martyrs, starting with our own very selves, starting with our own families, starting with our own offices where we work and ministries and so on. So let us pray for these matters of Uganda as we walk, we walk the spirit of prayer, not just walking, not just running, but with a spiritual intention at heart in what we are doing. So with these few words, I want to have this uh, flagging off realized. Thank you very much, Father. The Order of a Minister, our Bishop, a Member of Parliament, the clergy who are around here, I am Moletero Anatol, and I'm the Commissioner of Community Policy in Uganda Police Force. I have another Commissioner who is going to lead us, especially 
those in the war faith of Paul Kampala is the commander of the 99 system in the Uganda Police Force. He is Arena Ike John Cohen. He's just right there and ready to take us on. Honorable Minister, on behalf of my institution and on behalf of the police force and other security agencies that are here, we are ready to take lead in as far as uh, ensuring safety and security of Ugandans are concerned. This is an issue that we don't take it for granted, and as such, we have done uh, deployment. Both the covert and overt. With us here, we have a number of security agencies who are part and parcel of this, not only to assume that we are securing you, but also to reflect on the spirit and blood of the matters. I think the rest, since I am the Chief Rada Honorable Minister, I would like to request you bless us and flag us off and then we have... So let us humble ourselves for the Lord. Gracious and loving Father, it is through your Son Jesus and the Holy Spirit that the martyrs died and had the courage to give their lives for you. Lord, we too, as we move from this place, in the spirit of faith, we ask you that you give us the same Holy Spirit, that as we run, as we walk, we are guided by your Spirit. We have a purpose for what we are working for, what we are running for, that we are following the example of our matters of Uganda. We pray that you guide all of us from here to Old Kampala, Matem Lumba, peacefully, and we are able to have that realized for the glory of the name. For this is the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.